Hey guys, Miata Man here. Today we are going to take a look inside the fuel tank on the parts car to find out uh, what it looks like inside and if, uh, if my suspicions are correct. Now, I've got this car to the point where it will turn over, no problem. Uh, seems to be working fine in that regard, but there's no fuel. So what we've done is removed all of the Phillips screws. They're Phillips number twos, these little guys. They're, they're short ones, they're not as long as the rest of them on the car. And there's a series of those that hold this plate down. And this, is, this lives underneath the rear deck carpet. So, and it also has a seal on the bottom side of it, right here. So, once we take that off, then we've got access to the fuel tank. So, you'll notice there's no power tools in here right now. The only thing I've got is just a regular Phillips number two screwdriver. The reason for that is fuel vapors. So, we don't want to cause a fire and torture ourselves, so we're not going to use any power tools that could create a spark because they're not intrinsically safe. So we're going to use regular hand tools and be careful not to, you know, cause any sparks. So um, very important if you're doing this work, disconnect the battery first, okay? Make sure there's no power in the car. Then you want to disconnect this guy as well. So for what we're doing today though, we're just going to do that and We've removed all of the screws that go around the perimeter of the fuel pump and sending assembly here. So those screws have a very fine thread, a machine thread, still a Phillips number two on the top. And there's a series of them. Now there's one hiding under here that you might miss. You don't really see it until you move this aside. There we go. So if it's not coming off, you may have missed one. Once we've got them all undone. We can actually lift this up a little bit and over and right away we see that we've got problems. We've got a very rusty fuel gauge unit here and we've got a lot of rust in the tank too on the bottom. See actually it doesn't look bad from this angle but let me just pull this out a bit more. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at it go. So, there's all sorts of rust and stuff. It's like the Titanic in there. Wow. So, let's focus that in for you. There you go. Yeah, you can just see it coming out. So, you know, there's water in this gas tank, I would say for sure. Uh, that's created a lot of rust. So, fuel pump, definitely toast. And in the bottom of the tank, you can see a lot of stuff in there. You can just see it dribbling out of the sock on the fuel pump down into the depths of the tank right there. So um, that'd be why this thing doesn't run for sure. Um, definitely would replace the whole assembly here. Might get away with just replacing the fuel pump and cleaning up the tank and going from it that way. But um, you just see all that in the bottom of the tank. It just doesn't look good. So uh, let's get you right in there and get you a better look at the inside of the tank. You can see it's been sitting uh, with not a lot of fuel in it for quite a long time. So um, there you go. Another reason, guys, if you're going to store your Miata over the winter time, put some fuel stabilizer in it. Sorry, I can't talk today. Put fuel stabilizer in the tank and make sure you fill the tank before you store it. And that will eliminate the air in the tank and reduce the condensation that you're going to get. So there you go. That is what we're dealing with here. And we're going to close this up to try to get some of the vapors to stop coming out. There we go. So there you go. Be very careful if you're doing this job. Make sure you're in a very well ventilated area. I'm outside right now. I've got um, the door off and there's lots of air coming in. I'm still not enjoying the fumes of the fuel, but uh, there you go, guys. Check that before you fire up a car that's been sitting for a long time, just in case the fuel pump is still working and it manages to suck some of that up and put it into your fuel lines or into your motor. So uh, anytime you get a car that's been sitting for a prolonged period of time, good idea to check that. There you go. Any questions, put them in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll make more videos real soon. Thanks, guys.